There are no great men of God. There are only tiny, weak, faithless men of a great and merciful God. If anything, the longer we walk with the Lord and the closer we draw to the light, the more we become aware of our own imperfection. The flesh, ladies and gentlemen, is not totally annihilated at conversion. The war goes on. The people who are usually the most godly, sincere and devoted in the church are the ones most broken over their sin, while those who show little signs or evidences of having been born again sit there as though they had no sin at all. Maybe you've bought the lie that your Christian walk keep it under wraps because whatever it is that you're struggling with, other Christians don't struggle with that. Lies, lies, lies. You are not a freaky, flaky, deficient Christian. You're a Christian, just like the rest of us, same standing, dealing with stuff. Let's go to that mail maga, shall we, from Alaya. I've been using sinful entertainment as a distraction lately, and I'm struggling to stop. I watch it, and I feel nothing. And it's almost as though I really am dead to it. Yet, it's hard to stop. I think I struggle with assurance, but I'm not sure if that's really the root of the issue or not. Is she weird? No. Every Christian deals with affections, our emotions, and how we respond to the knowledge that, no, we just committed a sin. Contrition comes out of a genuine sorrow for having offended God, for having done what we know is sinful. What should Eliah perhaps you do, especially regarding the subject of assurance? Might I begin by suggesting the fact that you actually wrote an email to a TV program asking, why don't I feel as bad as I should? Am I not repenting rightly is an indication you actually do feel bad about your sin. You expressed it in the letter. Let's, let's be careful that we're not like the Thanksgiving turkey, where we put a temperature gauge inside of it, and it's like, okay, enough contrition there. It's between you and the Lord. But that's not to suggest that you don't do anything about it. You can't play around with sin. It will grab you, and it will grab you quickly. If you're out working in the fields in India or Pakistan, and there is a big cobra, and you've got a machete in your hand, and all of a sudden that cobra rises up, you can't sit there and, and talk to it. You can't reason with it. It's going to strike in a matter of a second or two. You've got to take off its head, or you've got to flee. You've got to get out of there. You can't play around with it. Go! Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. I'm not in the wretched studio anymore. If an I tripped here inside of the wretched set and concluded that must mean I'm not actually in the wretched set, you'd go, wait a second, what do you, what do you, you, you tripped, but you're in the wretched studio. Why is it that that conclusion is so easy and yet so often when we sin, we conclude we're no longer in Christ. This is not to offer liberty to sin. May it never be that we use grace as a license for licentiousness, but so many Christians, we just read of one, and we hear from saints regularly who are concerned about their status because they sin. Now, if you've got unrepentant, willful sin, you are diving, you are planning, plotting, strategizing, and then committing the sin, and then... Moving on to the next chapter of muck. That would be a sign that you're of the devil. But if you are falling into sin, you're in a war with sin, why do you immediately conclude that your sin takes you out of Christ? If you've repented and put your trust in Jesus Christ, you're in him. And might I encourage you to believe that promise. If you have come unto him, you have placed your faith in him, then you are in him. And who can take you out of him ain't nobody, including your sin. If you could lose your salvation, you would. If my salvation depended on me, I would lose it. I don't have the power to hold my salvation. I don't have the power to keep my salvation. Right now, 
The reason that Christians are going to get to heaven is not because they hold on. It's because Christ holds on. He will bring many sons to glory. If Christ didn't hold on to me, I would never get there. Please don't hear a promotion of promiscuity that don't worry about your sin. It ain't no big whoop. The more you remember your position in Christ, the less you want to sin. Why? Because you realize how amazing it is that you got in on the greatest deal ever, that you have your sins forgiven because of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You have been plucked out of a realm of darkness, brought into the kingdom of God's beloved Son. Nobody can get you in but Jesus. And Jesus promised, I'm not going to kick you out. Nothing can and separate you from the love of God. Believe your salvation because it is not inside of you. It is not because of your eyeballs, your hands, your feet, what you do with your mouth. It is in Christ. If you struggle with assurance, be careful that you identify your sin for what it is. If it's ongoing, unrepentant, willful, I don't care if I sin, no big whoop. You got a problem. Your position in Christ probably isn't. But if you've repented, put your trust in Jesus Christ. You've seen fruit in your life. You, you've seen change. You've seen the fruit of repentance. When you sin, that doesn't mean that you're not a Christian anymore. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, 